Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So today I am going to be showing you my entire Luxie Beauty eyeshadow collection. I had asked you guys what types of videos you guys wanted to see and tons of you said that you did want to see my Luxie Beauty eyeshadow collection with swatches. So these are the palettes that I have currently. I own tons of her eyeshadows as you can see, a lot of her highlighters and I just think for the quality and the price, it's so worth it and I feel like she needs more attention here on YouTube because it's just it's not enough and you, you'll see in the swatches how pigmented these are. So if you guys want to see each individual eyeshadow with swatches, keep on watching. So I'm first going to go into the bigger palettes and um, Luxie Beauty has sent me tons of eyeshadows and I'm so grateful, so sweet and she just sends them to me so thank you so much Jessica for sending me so many eyeshadows. I have bought some myself but like I said she's just a sweetheart and she has sent me tons of eyeshadows. So uh, starting with the first palette, again this is the bigger Z palettes. Um, she also sells Z palettes on her website just alone um, or you can purchase them with um, her single eyeshadows included. I'm not sure of the prices, but I will have her website listed down below in case you guys are interested. So let's start off with the first one right here. So the first one is called Terracotta. So it's this one right here, and as you can see, it's a brown red, brown red color. Um, well, it's more like a tangerine, I guess, not much red, but it has a little bit of red to it. It is the perfect color to apply all over your lid or as a transitional color. You do have to be very careful with these eyeshadows, like I said, because they're super pigmented and a little goes such a long way. So the next eyeshadow is this one right here, and it's very similar to Terracotta. This one is called Ferro, and this one, it is also really pretty, except this one does have a little bit more brown to it than terracotta. This is ferro. Um, the other one is a little bit more of a burnt orange and this one has more brown to it. The third color is this one right here and this one is one of my favorites actually because it is that perfect transition shade as you can see. It reminds me a lot of Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek and this one is called Dirty. That is Dirty right there. You can pack it on and get a little bit more color you can go very light-handed with it and it just creates that perfect transition color. Next one is another gorgeous color. These are all mattes. I will tell you guys when I get to the shimmery ones, but you can tell when they are shimmery. This one is called Vino and it is such a pretty color and oh, I just love this one. Next up is this super black eyeshadow and this one is called Sinister. It is the blackest eyeshadow I own like literally a little goes such a long way I mean look at that that is one swipe the next two that I have are more of an army green color uh, the first one is called olive you like I love you it's a very soft like a pukey type of green kind of reminds me of like baby poop like that's that's what I can think of the next one is called Camel and Camel um, it's a little bit more it's a little bit lighter I don't know if you guys can see the difference I suck at explaining things you guys know this but this is Camel and this is all of you so this one has a little bit more like minty green tones to it nonetheless it is so pretty and look oh my gosh like look at that pigmentation it is stunning I'm gonna try to go as fast as I can because I have tons of eyeshadows and I don't want to chit chat too much. So the next one is called Weakness. I know this one off the top of my head because it's one of my favorite ones and this one is like a mustard yellow color. It's called Giggity and it reminds me of that one guy from Family Guy I believe. So it is a really pretty color and again like look at that. Like seriously 
I totally just broke the, that eyeshadow por andar de payasa. Next up is a super vibrant turquoise. And this one is called Audrey. Actually, it's more like a baby blue, if you guys can see that. Again, super, super pigmented. Next, we have Masquerade. And it's a really pretty, almost like a royal blue. But it has a little bit of purple hints to it. I actually applied a little bit of this onto my crease to create a little bit more depth. And again, super pigmented, one swipe. Next we have Linger, and Linger is a true gray color. It has a little bit of brown um, undertones, just a tad bit. I haven't used this one either, and now that I'm seeing it, I'm like, oh, I need to use it. It is so pretty, and again, super pigmented. And then the next one that we have is this one, and I believe this is Spice. No, this one's Bitter. It's Kind of like Cocoa Bear, it's that red-brown color. After Bitter, we have another gray one, and this one is more of a true gray than the other one. This one is called gra gra Graphite. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Just all over the lid with some sparkly silver glitter. It will look so gorgeous. And then we have here, I believe this one is Spice. And again, this one is one of my favorite ones. I just love it. It's, yep, it's called Spiced. And this one, again, is a red, red brown color, but this one has more red to it than the other one. The other one, like I said, reminds me a lot of Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear. Now, moving on to this gorgeous lilac color. It's this one right here, and this is actually the first time that I used it. This one is also called... You know what? I think the names are messed up on this one, because this one's called Sinister. And the black one's called Sinister. So I will try to find the name of this one. But this one is just a true lilac color. It's the one that I'm wearing on my crease today to create this very gorgeous purple eye. And I didn't think this was going to show up on my skin just because it looks very light on here. Next we have another green turquoise color and this one is called cypress so gorgeous i haven't used this one either a lighter version of this one and this one has more green green to it this one is called julep that is the color right there very pretty minty green now we're getting into the shimmery shadows and all of them are so crazy pigmented the first one is called georgia on my mind and if you guys know about this song that is um what's his name ray charles i believe sing a song called georgia on my mind such a good song so that is it that is georgia on my mind i, I don't know how good you will be able to see these because they're more shimmery the next one is called caramels caramels a bitch and i love this one this one as well is more of a rustic gold so that is so that is Caramel Sabich, and this one's Georgia on my mind. Next we have a super intense gold, and this one is called Autumn Rose. These are almost like foiled eyeshadows to the point where they are just so metallic. I wore this one yesterday, and this one's called Fallen For You, and this one is more of a true... Um, this one's more of a golden, like a burnt gold with peach almost. So that is that one right there. It's that one. Next, we're moving on to a more, I don't know, it's like a bronze shade. And this one is called Smitten Harder. So it's that one right there. This one I've used it so many times, and I believe it's called 24K, 24 karat gold or something like that. This one is super intense, and it's this one right here. I mean, like, that is intense. That is me just dabbing my finger onto it. Um, next we have Urban and Urban is a rustic gold unlike the other one. This one has a lot more like lime green to it. This one's called Golden Delicious and it is a green gold eyeshadow. It's this one right here really pretty like an apple green. Now we have a more minty green, and this one's called Sparrow. This one's another really pretty minty green color. The bottom row are more um, blues and then some other funky colors. So the first blue one is called Moonlit. But again, 
They're so pretty. This one is called Malibu and I haven't really, I don't think I've actually used this one, but these are some of the eyeshadows that broke on me. And this one is a blue, but it has some like gold to it. Oh, it is so pretty. Like it, it's one of those eyeshadows that it switches in lights. It's not one of her Auroras. I will get to those in a second. But it's that one right there, and hopefully the camera can pick it up. But it's blue and gold at the same time. Next we have a super bright royal blue, and this one... Oh, this one doesn't have a name to it, so I will try to find the name. But this one, again, so gorgeous, super pigmented. Next we have November Rain, and this one is a... It's like a purple with blue to it as well. It kind of shifts colors as you move your hand around and it's that one right there oh that one you can see it is so pretty these are more deeper colors this one is called oh, this one doesn't have a name either that's okay i will try to find the names for you guys but this one i haven't used either and this one's more of a taupey brown Almost done with this palette. This one doesn't have a name either, but it's the one that I used in my last tutorial, and I feel like it's a dupe for Makeup Geeks. Um, what's it called? Insomnia. It's that color that has like red, like red undertones, but it has like turquoise to it as well. So that is it for my big Z palette. All the rest of them are going to be pure shimmery shadows. So the next little Z palette that I have, I believe these are all of her Aurora, Aurora, Aurora shadows. All these eyeshadows have a shift to them, so they look a certain way in an angle, and then in a different angle, they have a different color. So I'm going to go through them really quickly again because I feel like I'm talking so much. This one is called Orion, and if you guys can see that... Hold on, my camera's not focusing. This one shifts from like a peachy color to bronze. Next one is called Copper Popper. And this one shifts from like copper to like a gold. Next we have Sunset. That is Sunset. Next is Bohemian. And this one is like a rose gold color. Next is called Glazed and Confused. It's a white eyeshadow and it shifts to a little bit of a pink and green. This is such a gorgeous color. It's called Very Sexy. And as you can see, it is very sexy. It's a purple eyeshadow and it shifts to kind of like a copper gold. This one is called Hey Boo. This one is a light pink with some purple. Next we have Duper Star and it's actually the shade that I'm wearing on my lids today and this one is a gorgeous violet color with some like blue hues um, as an undertone. So pretty. Next we have Disturbia and Disturbia is a blue with some purple. Next up, ugh. next up is Genesis or Hennessy's. This one is a silver with some pink and a, a little bit of like purple hues to it. Next up is Prom Queen. Next we have Hijinks, I believe. Really pretty green. Then we have Queen of Mean. The next one I actually wanted to wear today, but I was feeling more of a purple look, and this one is called Omega. Look at that. That is so pretty. I haven't used this one either. This one reminds me so much of a peacock because it's turquoise, but it has so much purple to it that it's breathtaking. The very last one on this palette, it is called Limelight. And this one is also a white eyeshadow with like lime green hues. 
The very last palette has some more shimmery eyeshadows. These are not her Aurora eyeshadows. They're just the ones that she regularly has. So we'll start with these and then we'll end with this one. The first one is called Pistol Whipped. And this one is just a true silver, like a gun metal color. That is Pistol Whipped. Then we have Savant. That is Savant, Savant. Next we have One Night Sand, and this one is a very gorgeous red color. It's like a coppery red actually, but it's One Night Stand. Pretty red copper. One of my favorite ones is this one, but this one is another rosy champagne color. Next we have Fireside, and this one is like a red bronzy shadow. Next we have Saints and Sinners. Really pretty um, purple color. That is it. Then we have this gorgeous lime green color. This one also doesn't have a name but it is so pretty and so vibrant. This would look so pretty as like a pop of color on the inner corner or the lower lash line. That would just ugh, be so pretty for the spring. Then the very last one is called Cranberry Crush. Okay guys, so that is it. That is my entire Luxie Beauty collection. I know I have tons of them, but honestly I just, I love them and I think her quality of her products are just amazing. You saw it for yourself, the eyeshadows are very creamy, super buttery, and they do blend really nicely onto the lids. So I believe that is everything. I don't think I have anything to mention. Um, oh yes, I do. I do have a Spanish channel. Um, I will have a link down below. I haven't uploaded any videos yet, so all my girls that speak Spanish, leave me a comment down below and tell me what you want to see videos um, as far as like tutorials or whatever. Let me know because I just I don't know what to start with and I'm a little bit nervous. So let me know what you guys want to see. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.